Welcome back guys, we're back for another Halo Infinite video, and today we're talking about why you'll be playing Halo Infinite a lot sooner than you think. If you enjoy the video, please consider liking it, and subscribe for more Halo Infinite content. So last year, 343 told us we would be helping with the development of Halo Infinite by testing it out in early preview builds, as we have done now with MCC over the last year and a half, with the game coming to PC and developing new features and progression added to it over time. With Halo Infinite, this will be very similar based on what 343 has told us so far. Since Halo Infinite got a one year delay, we had to sadly wait and couldn't flight the game last year, but 343 has continued to promise that we will be testing early preview builds of the game this year with the launch of Halo Infinite in 2021. As they have been saying for the last few months, they've been talking rigorously about early preview builds that they're so excited for us to get our hands on to help them develop and tweak features and stress test the servers and the game before launch. In 343's last Inside Infinite blog post, they have confirmed again that they still plan for limited pre-release technical previews, or flighting for short, with Halo Insiders to help them stress test and improve the game on the road to launch. They're going to give us more details of how and when they get closer to it, but in the meantime, they're telling us to make Make sure we're updated and registered on the Halo Insider programs to participate in the flights. So what does this all mean for playing Halo Infinite early? Well it's our chance to get our hands on the game and be able to help developers tweak different features and new things they added with Halo Infinite, including a lot of sandbox items and the new armor outline overlays and just small details that can really change the game in meaningful ways and also stress testing the server capacities with Halo Infinite being a free to play game. So when can we expect? these technical previews with Halo Infinite? My best guess would probably be some sort of announcement of when they're planning on doing it from the weeks ahead, which would be sometime around early to mid-July, and with them to be announcing the technical previews early August. Like with the first week, it would maybe be around 10 to 50,000 people, and possibly them adding 10 to 50,000 more afterwards each week going on for the month of August. The length of this I could see being at least a month long, I would say, with all the different things they would have to test with Halo Infinite and this being the newest Halo game within the last six years. I can imagine they would want to test out a lot of different features with the community and different aspects of the multiplayer maps that we'll be seeing for Halo Infinite. So yeah, we could be expecting this very soon. I don't think they would want to do it very close to launch. That's why my best guess is an announcement sometime in July with the release of the flighting starting end of July to early August and continuing on until the beginning of September and then them ending it and taking all the feedback and the stress test and all the data into account and then tweaking the game up until October until the game goes gold and then with a release most likely on November 15th. So are you excited to test out Halo Infinite in the early preview build? I know I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've been waiting so long for this game and I really hope I get picked in one of the early preview flights for Infinite but you never know. I'm sure they're gonna have bigger streamers or YouTubers and content creators and also grassroots partners for Halo Infinite to be picked at first but you never know. You could be the lucky one out of the 10 to 50 thousand being it picked at first but let me know when you guys think halo infinite's technical previews are going to be releasing if you have a different date than i do or if you think it's going to last longer or shorter or if you think they might add more players than what i said based on the game going to be free to play thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more halo content